So somebody once said that commitment is like a ham and eggs breakfast, right? The chicken was involved, but the pig was committed. I want you to be committed to success in real estate, okay? So I'm gonna tell you a little story about me. I used to be a scuzzy biker, greasy biker, okay? This is before, you know, I had a giant afro, crazy. So when I was 20 years old, um, I was working the graveyard shift at a mobile gas station, okay? Glamour job. And I was a high school dropout, let's, let's not go there. But I uh, was across the street from an all night 7-Eleven. So the guy at the 7-Eleven, he rides a motorcycle. So I'm out there talking to him one time and I said, so you ride a motorcycle? He goes, yeah. I said, well, what kind of motorcycle is it? He goes, are you kidding me? I go, no. He goes, uh, it's a Harley. I go, what's that? He goes, you wouldn't understand. I said, well, hey, let me take it for a ride. He goes, no, horrible idea. <laughs> no, you're not gonna take it for a ride. I said, no, really, I'm a daredevil, it'll be fine. He goes, I think that's a worse reason to take it for a ride. So, of course, I sold him on let me take it for a ride. So it's got straight pipes, I sit on it, I go, wow, this is real metal. I go riding down Indian School Road in Phoenix, Arizona, at 110 miles an hour, peeling the paint off the side of the buildings, and I bring it back, I put down the kickstand, I turn it off, and I said, I am buying one of these. Now, I had just rolled my truck upside down because I was crazy, and uh, so I go out to breakfast every, or I go out to lunch every day with my best friend, Jeff. So we go to La Fonda Mexican food for lunch like we always do, and I said, Jeff, I have an idea. He says, yeah, what's that? I said, you and I are gonna buy matching black Harley Davidson Sportsters, and we are gonna ride to all four borders of America. What do you think? Without even thinking about it, he says, that's right, that's what we're gonna do, I'm in. No thinking, that was it. So every day, we would go and eat lunch and we would focus on that. We were gonna, how are we gonna do it? Where are we gonna go? Where, what are we gonna do? It was, we were obsessed with it. So one year later, we had saved up enough money to buy matching black Harley Davidson Sportsers and we were riding off into the sunrise, a bunch of our friends met us at, at the zoo in the parking lot and we rode off and went to all four borders of America, 7,000 miles in one month at age 20. Can you imagine your 20 year old kid doing something crazy like that? There were no cell phones, there were no credit cards then. I don't know how we did it, but it was crazy. But it was because we were committed and obsessed with it. So I want you to be committed and obsessed. So there's things that fearless agents keep track of. When you're committed to being successful in real estate, and let's, we're gonna have to pretend that your goal is to do listings mostly or only for this exercise. So I want you to keep track of certain things. So these are the things that fearless agents. So the day each week, by the way, weeks are a artificial invention by humans. There is no lunar thing or solar thing that has the week is kind of how we plan our lives. There's supposedly 52 of them. In a, in, a, in a realtor year, there's really only 40 because you know there's all these holidays, there's Christmas, that's two weeks out of your schedule. There's your birthday, that's a two week extravaganza, then I gotta get you out of rehab. So literally, I think there's about 40 weeks in a realtor year. But each week, keep track of these things. The number of listing appointments you schedule, write that down. The number of listing appointments you go on, attended, okay, write that down. The number of listings you list. The number of sales you make, in other words, a buyer under contract that you are working with is a sale you make the number of your listings that go under contract each week, and then the number of closings you have, and then the names of the clients and all the, the amounts of all, the, of all those things. If you know that each week, but if I'm going to coach you, if I were to ask you, how many listing appointments on average do you schedule each week these days? I would want you to know that number. If you're a buyer only, agent or mostly, I would ask you how many in-office buyer appointments do you schedule 
each week. And that would, that would kind of tell me how you were doing. So each week, I don't, I'm not the kind of coach who asks you to report your numbers because there is no advantage, there's no skill you get from reporting your numbers. So coaches who are bad at coaching are constantly asking you to report your numbers and that's because they don't have any skills to teach you. I'm gonna teach you the skills, your numbers are gonna go up dramatically, you don't have to worry about that. So until the next video, I want you to focus on the basics, I want you to be committed, I want you to be obsessed, and I want you to get your skills, your schedule, and your systems right. And I want you to feel free to call me anytime at 480-385-8810. And let's see if you would be a good fit for fearless aging coaching, because if you are, you're gonna get rich. And if you're not, I'm still gonna help you either way. So call me anytime, 480-385-8810. I wanna make you a fearless agent, thanks.